Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Kaden and today we are going to be painting on seashells. But before we get started, I just wanted to say that if you're new here, my name is Kaden Cornish and on this channel I do painting, basketball tutorials, challenges, vlogs, and speaking of vlogs, I actually did my first one right there, so make sure you go check that out too. And one thing that I'm gonna start doing is if you wanna see any specific video, like any ideas of videos that you want to see, then make sure to connect with me on my IG and Twitter at tiny underscore beast mode three. But without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Let's get straight into it with a nice teal. And since the first day of fall was a few days ago, I'm going to put a pumpkin on the side. Now that we have laid down our full base coat of teal front and back, it is time to start sketching. Now that we have the sketch all done, I'm going in with a teeny tiny paintbrush so that we can cover the stem with a green. Um, so I have finished the stem, but I feel like it's missing something. It's just looking a little plain, so I went ahead and mixed up this light green, and I'm going to kind of mix it, in, mix it in with the regular green and puff it out and see what it looks like. Okay, okay, not bad. I added some little vines on the ends, kind of symbolizing how it gets off of the leaves. But it is now time to go in with an orange, and by the looks of it, we're going to be using a lot of coats to get it the exact by orange that I want it. So, <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> Now that we have a solid orange laying down, I'm going to try something a little bit different. And I'm pretty sure you've seen where artists do like little granite looks to make it more realistic. So that's what I'm trying to do with this brown and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, no, no, no. This did not turn out. Once I start mixing the orange and the brown, it started turning like a greenish for some reason. I don't know, but I'm just going to wipe it all off and start over. Okay, so I have the orange laid down, and I don't know if you have watched enough art videos, but they used to use maybe a black fine tint marker or like a sharpie or something like that to like make the highlights so i'm going to try that for the first time and see how it goes this point i just kind of gave up and just started drawing random things on it look you can probably see that i have like a little jack lantern face on it i was starting drawing stuff so this shell was a fail okay now let's move on from that epic fail and go on to this small shell which i'm going to use lots of blues to blend with now for this shell, I have used lots of darker blues, and the theme of this shell is going to be a starry night. But the first thing I have to do is kind of extend that black at the bottom and make it look like some grass. Here this one is. It's pretty simple and small. You have the moon and the white stars. I even added some shooting stars, but it is now time to move on to our very last shell. 
So for this last she sale, I'm trying to kind of redeem myself from the last fall she sale that I did. And I'm going to go in with a nice blended background of yellow, orange, and brown. Now that we have those pretty base coat layers laid down, I'm going to go in with some letters this time. And what I'm going to say is fall is here because technically fall is now here. Now that we have those letters laid down, I'm kind of deciding if I should outline it with a white or a um, black because I tried the white already and it looks okay. So I'm going to go in with the black and see how that turns out. Okay, black overpowers white. Um, the letters look great. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off these letters real quick. And then I actually added some leaves while I was sketching. I don't know if you can see on the little side, so I'm going to fill those in as well. <laughs> they both are obviously disincluding the first one but whatever you guys probably already know what i'm about to say comment down below which one is your favorite i personally like both this time around but don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed hit that subscribe button and turn on those bell notifications so you know every time i upload a new video but that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you soon. Bye.